Every pregnancy needs utmost care and attention. But certain pregnancies need a little extra attention. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby is at increased risk of complications. BSV is at the forefront to ensure safe delivery in every RH negative pregnancy. So welcome to the outside view, West Indies preview. They say numbers portray a lot. Well, sometimes, just sometimes, they might not just do so. So since the 2017 ODI World Cup now, the team has had a rather roller coaster of a ride. Let me just quickly put the stats out there. Since the last ODI World Cup, West Indies has played 39 matches, won 13 and lost 22 of them. So let me first get to you, Brittany. How do you look at the team's journey to this World Cup? Does it speak a lot about their potential or it doesn't? Hi, um, no, it doesn't at all. Um, West Indies have a, a really um, tough patch this past couple of series. Um, you saw that they did um, excellence against Pakistan, but if you look at two recent series against South Africa, it was below par. Um, West Indies are capable of a lot more, a lot more. And despite you not know, losing those two back to back series against South Africa, it was great to see a lot of players come into fourth and it wasn't, you know, this is the Stefani Taylor or just the, the Dutton or just the Matthews. You see a lot of other players in terms of Henry, you see um, Nation and you see Knight. So I think that, you know, um, eventually West Nice will catch up and be able to, to, to produce, produce the kind of cricket we know they can. West Indies will catch up. We have things to back that as well. 2013 World Cup, they were the finalists, won the 2016 T20 World Cup. At that time, they weren't considered as the absolute favourites, but they pulled it off. So, West Indies are a team full of surprises. Shatira? Yes. Yeah, always. West Indies is the name who can surprise us anytime. Or like it's both for. Yeah. She completely agrees to that. Yeah, it's for both, for male or for female, uh, women cricketer, it's like both. And I especially love the West Indian players who really, uh, they are very hard hitter and they're very strong. So they're different from everyone. So they can do anything, anytime. That's why actually you never, what you cannot predict, they can do that thing. So the team has shown improvement. They are a strong side, though didn't have a good time in the 2017 World Cup. But what changes can you pinpoint, Brittany, in the side from the last edition to now? For me, uh, I would say experience. Um, it took a, a, a couple of years you know, to, 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 to try to put um, the right chemistry together. And also, we have um, a new coaching, new management team that um, that I would say um, agreeing with the players, they are motion and they are understanding, they are allowing players to express and have positive conversation about their cricket. So um, since Court Walsh came on board, you know, uh, you see there's been a, a change of mindset, a change of the way um, players approach um, their cricketing game. So it, it's, it's going to be a challenge now because Though this is a World Cup compared to a series he's been charged of, so it's, it'll be exciting to see you know, how the players are going to look to approach it. And I know the camp is very excited um, to, to, to be in this World Cup. And um, the fact that you know we are a very unpredictable team, you can never rule us out. All right. One day we'll look like you know uh, a team that you, know, you could just walk over, but next day we un could be unstoppable. Yes, unpredictable team as she puts it out. So this was the big picture about West Indies, their journey to the 2022 World Cup. But now let's just uh, discuss about the squad. So let's uh, start with the skipper, getting to Stefani Taylor. Lot of experience under her sleeves, exceptional all-rounder, exceptional leader. She has been the top run getter for the side since the last World Cup, having chipped in 1000 plus runs. How big an asset is she for the side? I would like to know from you Brittany first. I believe anybody will want a Stephanie Taylor in their side. I'm not 
the, her experience, her class, her, her leadership is needed on any team. And as you rightfully said, you know, she's been um, West Indies, one of West Indies student run scorer. You know, she's averaging um, 78 in her last 10 innings. And it, it shows that, you know, how important she is to the West Indies team. Now, we know she didn't have the best series against um, the recent concluded series in South Africa. And unfortunately that, you know, she got ruled out because of a um, concussion. But I know she's going to be very excited about this, um, this World Cup because we've been looking forward for this World Cup for a while. Because we know last World Cup we played in 2017, we was dismantled. And we know that's not the West Indies team we will know of so we are looking forward to go out there and you know showcase our talent and showcase you know what we are capable of yes that's right so shatira coming to you next uh, the next point that is the over dependency on the trio of dotin matthews taylor three of them have been a great asset for the site but your thoughts on that is there a over dependency on these um, core players yeah in a Every team you will see like uh, there are uh, two or three players. I think they have uh, like all the team is depending on three players, but new players are also doing well. Like Russia, the Williams, they, uh, she played very well in last tournament with South Africa. So she is not a uh, senior player. She only played uh, 13 matches. She is a newcomer, but she is playing well. So if the uh, new players will take the responsibility, then the uh, responsibility will be reduced from the senior players. But I will say with that trio, uh, I'll say about their bowling department as well because Anissa Mohammed is a very, very senior campaigner and she has played 136 matches and got 174 uh, wicket. And she's a very, very clever, intelligent bowler. So she knows what to do. You were, uh, we were talking about the slow wicket, no? Maybe in the slow wicket, they will get some advantage, uh, especially Anissa and Effie Fletcher also, she's a leg spinner, so slow wicket will help the bowler definitely. As you as you rightly mentioned about Anissa Mohammed, all the vice captain, all set to play her fifth ODI World Cup, lot of experience and the first one from West Indies to play um, her fifth ODI World Cup. How does she add value to the team, Brittany? What makes her stand out? I think her, her records alone make her stand out. You know, she is best in this um, leading wicket taker in, in, in ODI cricket. Is And the fact that she has so much experience, she said this is her fifth ODI World Cup. So she's had a, a lot of experience and played in in a in, in lot of different com, um, conditions where she's going to bring the likes of um, Ramak, even um, Taylor and Matthews, even though they are experienced. But the fact that, you know, she's been there done that and you know she's going to do it again she's going to be a key factor for us in that middle period over between say 20 to, to 30 you know where she's going to look to, to squeeze that um that run rate um i know she haven't picked up as much wicket as she want against um um uh, south africa recently but we know what anisa is capable of she's a bowler that you have to look out to because in those conditions she's going to to get to and I know that ball is going to be skiddy also. So we look out for Anissa moment in this World Cup. The West Indies here to make a statement in the ODI World Cup. So Shatira, what do you think? Actually, uh, West Indies is uh, like like always we used to say it's the unpredicted unpredictable team so we cannot predict about this team and but but i'll say the, the team they have in this world cup they have a very balanced team they can win so many matches even they can go to the top four but it will be a little bit difficult because because other teams are also playing well because india is there new zealand is there south africa is there and australia england is there so they have to fight at least these five teams to go in the top four but uh, it will be easy with Bangladesh and Pakistan maybe for Windies. So they can win that two match easily, but uh, they have to fight with New Zealand and England to go or South Africa to go for the uh, top four. Uh, just uh, to stress on what Satira said that um, I look for West Indies to be in the top four. I see New Zealand, West Indies, South Africa and India. That's my top four for the, the World Cup. I know she mentioned that, you know, um, she's looking for West Indies to, to, to beat Pakistan and bang this easy. But if you look at the last series against um, that West Indies faced 
Pakistan, in Pakistan and in the West Indies, it, what Pakistan wasn't a, a, a rollover. So it's going to be a challenge. Every game West Indies is going to play now, they have to bring their A game and continue to bring their A game. They can't allow any team to feel that they are superior, more superior than them, whether they are ranked more and stuff like that. They have to always continue to bring their A game every day for them to win that trophy. You said that West Indies is here to make a statement. Shatira says a balanced team. We all are actually predicting them to be a strong squad because of the core of the team. We talked about Stefani Taylor, we know Deandra Dorton is out there. But also the contributions of Hayley Matthews in the side. The basket of skills she brings to the table with the ball, with the bat. Would like to know more about her. Well, as we all see now, Hayley Matthews is now have a new road. We have all known Hayley Matthews as being Hayley Matthews, the opener. Now it's Hayley Matthews who is batting 4-5. And you see in the past series that she's, she seems a lot, lot comfortable playing that middle order role. You know, um, I think it's something that's been up for discussion um, a long time before, you know, for she to go in the middle and strengthen in the middle a lot more. And she's doing exactly that. You're also looking in, in the, the bowling department, she's been our West Indies highest wicket taker since um, the 2017 World Cup. So she's the perfect all rounder for any team and especially for West Indies because she, she, she could give you that, that flair on top, she could stand in the middle and also she have, uh, she goes some really great um, off break where she varies in pace and I know that variation in pace in New Zealand with those skinny wickets going to be an A factor and also she can feel. Yes, true gun fielder and then that's what it counts because a run saved is what we say is a run scored and it, it becomes very important because the margins of the game, the level of the game, the demands of the game have increased so much. So let's just quickly uh, know uh, from you, I would like to both of you to predict a few things. First of all, I'd like to know from you, Shatira, who would be that one player, apart from the core group we talked about of the West Indies, one player who you think would make a larger impact on this tournament from the West Indies? <laughs> That's difficult, but uh, Rashada Williams will play well, I think. Um, she's getting, uh, uh, she's in a good shape, so she can play well. Your pick, Brittany? For me, Shamilia Connell. Um, we saw that what she could do on, on these slow pitches in the, the Caribbean. So I'm excited to see what she's going to do on those fast wickets where, you know, the conditions it would just suit her perfectly. So we've already known that you uh, are backing them to be the top four. Uh, Shatira also sees them in the top four. Yeah, right Shatira? You... Yeah, yeah. if they will play well, they can definitely. Or even they can win the World Cup if they will play their best cricket, definitely. They have the capability. True. So, let's just get to the first uh, playing 11s, you guys think, uh, starting with Shatira, the playing 11 of the West Indies. First game. Uh, I'll go for Tartin and Rashada will open and number three, uh, Casey Knight. Number four, Stephanie Taylor, definitely. Then maybe uh, Hayley Matthews, Sumen Campbell and Sinal Handley and after that, Effie Fletcher will be there. Anisha Muhammad will definitely be there and Samilia Kanel and Ellie Enel, that 11. Perfect. Brittany. Uh, for me, I have uh, uh, Dutton and uh, Williams opening in pattern. Then we have Kaisia Knight. We have um, Hayley Matthews of Shemaine Campbell. Oh, before showing, I can't forget the skipper, <laughs> Stefani Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Taylor, <laughs> yeah, Shemin Campbell, I have Nation, Connell, and Salmon. For oh. me, um, the switch up will have to be if they have to play the extra butter, will have to either be between uh, Anissa Mohammed and um, Chanel Henry. I know oh. Chanel Henry could also deliver with the ball because she's a, a bowling or a True. Both of our experts have predicted that they are an unpredictable team full of surprises and a lot to expect from the West Indies in the upcoming New Zealand World Cup. So that's it for the West Indies preview. You guys can uh, post your questions in the comment section below. We'll definitely take them during our pre, mid and post shows. And also stay tuned to Women's Cricket Zone for all the updates on women's cricket.